Welcome to this training course on how to add in and use audio in Articulate Rise. Now, I want to show you what you can do with the audio. I'm also going to show you what you can't do. And I'll show you some nice little workarounds which might make your training course a little bit better. So first off, I'm in a Rise 360. There you go, you can see it along the top here. I'm in Rise 360. Let's go into a training course here. I'll go to this Fishing 101 course. This is all about you know, hacking and scams and that type of thing. And let's edit the content. So I'll go to Edit Content. Um, actually, let me pick a better slide. I was messing around with that one. There you go, let's go into this slide here. A bit better. And what I want to do, I want to add in audio. To add in the audio, go to All Blocks. Multimedia, and then you've got the audio option. Click on audio, and it's been added in. So you can see this piece of audio here is 2 minutes and 58 seconds long. It's a piece of music, and it's a generic thing that Rise adds in every time. And you're going to change it. There you go. You're going to make, it, make an edit to it. To edit it and actually add in your audio, go to edit on the left hand side. And you've got options here. You can either upload or start recording. And I'm going to show you how to do both of those. Let's do upload first. So go to upload, find the appropriate place where it's saved. So it's a, a piece of recording there, which is on my computer. I'll open it, give it a moment to process the audio. And there you go, it's five seconds long. You can either click on this X or you can just click on the screen somewhere. And there you go, it's added in my audio. It's five seconds long. If I press play. Testing, testing, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So that is my audio coming through. I can go left, I can go right. So there you go, that is how you add in the audio. Let's show you that, that, that again though. But this time, instead of me uploading audio from my computer, I'm going to record audio directly into this. So the way to do it, same process, you just go to edit on the left hand side but this time you go to start recording now it's already recording you can see the microphone going up and down there so let's just record something um, welcome to this training course about phishing and hacking and scams there we go to stop the recording you click on that button there this button just pauses it so if i pause it it's not recording it any longer but if i want to carry on recording i click on that and if I want to stop the recording, I can do it either when it's paused or when it's recording. And then I click stop recording. Again, give it a moment to process it. And then that's it done. There you go. 26 seconds long. Click on the X. And we have our piece of audio in there, which is 26 seconds long. I'll press play on it. Now, it's already recording. You can see the microphone going up and down there. There you go. Should have been able to hear that coming through. So that's how you add audio in. But you can see that this audio box is not particularly big and it's quite easy for a user to completely miss it. So if I was to move this up and put it right in the body of, you know, of the course. Oops. There you go. That one there. Go to there. Let's move you up again. Put you in that position there. So it could be very easy for the users to scroll down this and just miss out on the audio entirely. So what can you do to make it stand out a little bit better? You could add in some kind of instruction above it. So you'd add in a text. Put that above it. Keep going up. And you could say something to the effect of um, let's get rid of it. let's do a you know, click on the audio below to hear more about it. There we go. There's an example. I'll get rid of that. So you've got this, so it now stands out a little bit more. If I go to design on the audio itself, other things I can do with the padding, I can have small medium or large and that's the space between the top and the bottom within this box or I can adjust it accordingly so edit it like that so that might help something that will help is to add in a background so if I was to choose one of these other colors for a background so you know, this theme one something like that that's definitely going to help I could pick a color a custom color oh that's a bit bright 
There we go, kind of a custom color. So that might help as well. Unfortunately, there's nothing you can do about the size of this and you can't have this on the right hand side. And so what I might want to do is have a bit of text on image and, and the audio on the right, but you can't do that. There are other things you can do though, and this is, this is a solution that I would have. So instead of using audio, what I would do, I would go to all blocks, multimedia, and I'd insert a video. But let me explain what I'm doing here. Go to video. So we have this video here. I'm going to edit this video. And instead of having this coastline one, I'll go to edit and I'm going to replace the video. I'm going to replace the video with this one here, which is a Camtasia video that I've created. So I'll let it upload that. I'm processing. Whilst it's doing that, if I can have your attention and uh, subscribe to my channel, like the video, it all helps. Also, if you've got any questions or anything you want covered in any of these training videos, write them down below in the YouTube comments box because I will make videos based on what you're asking me you want covered. Anyway, back to this. So you can see now I've added in a video. If I make that a bit smaller, because it doesn't look very pretty. So I'll go to design. I'll make the video width small. There we go. Now this video is actually just a graphic equalizer representation. So, and I made this in Camtasia. Um, it's using the audio visualizers. Now I've got a video on how to use audio visualizers if you've got Camtasia. It's a great little function. If I press play on this, Welcome to this training course on how to use audio in Articulate. So, it's the same thing, it's only audio, but it's a video because it's got these uh, this graphic representation. Now our point is that the user is more likely to see this video than they are going to see this little line here. It's the same outcome for the user, they have audio playing, but with the visualization here, or the graphic visualizer here, it's a bit more interesting, uh, a bit more visual, obviously, and they're less likely to miss it. So this is a solution for you. And as I say, I've made a video on how to do this in Camtasia. I'm sure there's other tools out there that will allow you to do it as well. So that is an option for you. And then you'd move this up into the appropriate place. You know, and you can still, you, know, you can still edit it. You can still um, go to design. You can still change the background to a different color or whatever you wanted to do with it. So all of those options are still available for you. So there's that as an option. Something else you could do. So one more, oh, also, actually, whilst we're on it, if you're wondering about autoplay, can we have it so this autoplays? The answer is no, no, you cannot. And I was looking this up here, I was looking this up on, um, on Articulate's eLearning Heroes website about it. Someone's asked the question about autoplay um, and it was, uh, we've, sh we've, shield, we've shielded away from autoplay audio generally on rise because it's really non-standard on mobile devices. Um, so that's that's the answer. So essentially, no, you can't have autoplay on audio. So the user must click on this. So I was hoping that I could scroll down and then as I got to here, it would just start playing. That doesn't happen. User must click on this. So you must give them some kind of instruction. And again, you could put this in here, click on the above. But as I say, it's all very small. Um, you know, you can make that bigger. It's all very small. I just think that this is a better solution. But as I said, one more solution for you. Go to all blocks, go to interactive, and then you could have tabs. Now, if I create some tabs here, so we've got these tabs, embracing discovery, gaining insight, making it real. Within the tab, if I go to edit, I've got this image in there, but if I was to edit that, um, I'll remove the image, click on the photo icon, and I can upload media. So once again, I could upload my video as a solution. Now you can't add in audio in there by the look of things, um, because this is the, uh, let's go to all files, let's have a look. I'll go to that one there. No, it's not going to let me. So I've tried to add in the audio, it won't let me. But I can certainly add in media in the, say, in the sense of a video. So add in a video. So that could be a solution for you as well. 
is that you can have multiple videos playing in the, each of these with some instructions above it saying, you know, click on each of the tabs and then watch the videos or listen to the videos to, um, or press play to learn more. So that is a solution for you as well. But from this video, this YouTube video that you're watching here, you certainly know how to add in audio and it does work. But my only fear is that users are going to miss it as they're scrolling their way down. You've got a workaround solution as well, which I think is much better by using this one here, which is a graphic visualizer, which I created in Camtasia. Uh, and then you do have alternative options as well by adding in, as I was saying, this one here, uh, these elements here, which you could then add in the separate videos. Hopefully you found this video useful and you now know how to use audio in Articulate Rise better. Um, if so, please like the video, subscribe to my channel, and thank you very much.